in order to keep operating. That sets the scene as we gather here tonight, surrounded by the correspondents and analysts of CNBC. We'll talk to them after we start off with a look at how this all happened, how we got here. We begin our reporting with CNBC's Carl Quintanilla. Not in generations has Wall Street absorbed the number of body blows it took today. Lehman, Merrill, AIG. Their problems, all stemming from the housing crisis, brought the Dow down 504 points, the sixth biggest point drop in history. Some call it payback for years of risky lending practices and weak regulation. But if you're wondering how the housing crisis is hurting Wall Street's so-called fat cats, this is it. This is as profound a seismic shift as we have seen in almost 80 years that is shuttering uh, the very foundations of Wall Street to the core. The tsunami began this weekend. Federal Reserve officials tried to find a buyer for Lehman, but unlike the Bear Stearns debacle, refused to protect that buyer with taxpayer money. On Sunday, an emergency meeting at the New York Fed as potential bidders walked away. Merrill CEO John Fain, sensing his firm was now vulnerable, quickly sold to the healthier Bank of America. This is probably the most difficult uh, environment in the financial markets that I've experienced in my 30 years in the business. I know Americans are concerned. Today, the President and Treasury Secretary Hank Paulson moved to assure Americans about the health of all banks. Our banking system is a safe and a sound one, and since the days when we've had federal deposit insurance in place, we haven't had a depositor who's got less than $100,000 in an account lose a penny. There are some silver linings. The price of crude oil dropped below $96 a barrel today, although gas prices remain high. And economists say the Fed may lower interest rates at its meeting tomorrow. But two big negatives loom on the horizon. Layoffs for workers like this Lehman employee. Never thought it would come to this. It's just a tragedy. And a new era of tight credit, where banks are nervous about giving loans for appliances, cars, homes, making Wall Street's troubles a Main Street issue, and potentially putting economic recovery even farther out of reach. Carl Quintanilla, CNBC.